Hey guys, welcome back to some more Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So, we did a couple of things. We actually, last run, we beat Mom's Heart. We unlocked a couple of characters. We unlocked Cain. We unlocked, yeah, how do you unlock Judas? Oh, I think you gotta beat Satan, I think. I can't remember how to unlock Judas, but hopefully we'll get him. Uh, we did unlock Eve uh, by not picking up Heart for two levels, okay. Samson, uh, we unlocked Azazel. We unlocked Lazarus, and we have one Eden token, so... Uh, we have a couple characters here that we unlocked. So that's awesome. I don't know who I said we were going to play as. But, uh, yeah. So, Ken doesn't have any really advantage anymore. They changed his luck. So, he can still get bad pills. So, that kind of sucks. Uh, Lazarus is just like Isaac. Except he comes back to life once. Just like Isaac. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like Lazarus is kind of a pointless character. But, hey. Azazel is OP. Azazel is probably like one of the most OP characters, probably the most OP character in the game, so. Eat him. Eden, uh, use one of your tokens, you get one token every time you beat Mom's Heart, and, uh, pretty much he has randomized stats with a couple randomized items, and then Kane. So, I don't know who I unlocked first, I'm not doing hard mode, <laughs> so I'm not sure who I want to pick. Um, so I was gonna do. No, oh, I'll just do Lazarus, like I said. Lazarus is just like Isaac. Just like him. I think he starts with pill. Tears up. Starting up with tears up pill. It's not too terrible. What is that? Book of Revelations? Um, oh, you know what? I can do this. I can use Book of Revelations and start fighting some horsemen. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe, you know, get some cubes of meat or some balls of bandages and stuff like that. I don't have any bombs. But so... Let's go ahead and try that out. Let's go ahead. We'll take the Book of Revelations and we will go ahead and uh, try this out. So, like usual, uh, prepare to be sitting and watching for a cool minute. I do not know I'm getting a little bit of slowdown here, but I am. Uh, you know how it is with this this series. These episodes can go on for a cool minute. I mean, at least it's only like, you know, once per every three days. So it's not like, you know, you're watching Northern Line or something. You're like sitting there for a millennium, you know, watching me play and then I upload. Ooh, oh wow. I wish I would have had that freaking before I started destroying all the poops, but alright, I'll take it. Petrified poop, pretty much. I have a higher chance of getting uh, consumables and stuff like that from the poop that I destroy, so. Gives me much more incentive. Oh, and I see a golden poop up there to, uh, you know, destroy the poop. So, that's good. Now, so, you know how I am with the series. I say put it on 1.5 times, maybe even 2. You know, my voice may be spe sped up, but at least the gameplay is, you know, because these videos generally are a cool minute. So this puts petrified poop. Um, petrified poop. Oh my God, Daniel, enunciate. <laughs> yeah, don't just dribble out of your damn mouth. All right. No, I should probably be using Book of Revelation as much as possible. So how do I? How do I use my? I can't remember how I use my. Uh, Oh, why is it left bumper? All right, apparently it's left, not left bumper, left trigger. I'm using the Xbox controller right now, so. Man, oh, never mind. I'd say, man, there's some tinsel rocks, but I don't have a bomb. Like, wait, yes, I do have a bomb. Hello, I did. I just picked up a bomb last room, so I would definitely be exploding this. Got a key, spirit heart, so. Because I use Book of Revelations, if this is just like uh, the original Isaac and they didn't patch this, I should be going up against Famine. Yep. So, Famine, let's go. I'll take my key with me. I, I, you know, so far in this entire uh, time I've been watching series, and I've been watching, you know, my friend Dan, I've been watching Northern Line, I have not seen anybody complete the whole... Uh, no, Meat Boy. Like, the whole entire Meat Boy. Complete the whole, all the, beat all the horsemen, get all the Cuban meats. You know, I don't even think I've seen a, a, a third level Meat Boy in this game, so... Maybe in this run, we can use the Book of Revelations to go ahead and, uh, get us some, uh, cubes of meat. And, uh, hopefully, uh, get Meat Boy. And also, they added, uh, Bandage Girl as well. So you can also get, like, a ball of bandage. So, that's also a thing that's in this game. I don't need to... Wow. I was about to say, I don't need to dodge so extravagantly. I said the controls aren't as tight with the controller as they would be on a keyboard. 
but I'm trying to, I feel like maybe the controller's gameplay would be a little bit easier for me. I'm not the best at this game. Also the lag, the, also the slowdown's not helping either. So, we got the ball of bandages, so. And, uh, is there anything else? I don't even know how to look at my map, I think I gotta like. Uh, well, there's no point in going to shop, I don't got money. Nah, I guess we're just done here. Let's go ahead and move on. Alright, so now this upcoming floor, I can use the Book of Revelations as much as I want because there's no way in heck. No, I'm good. Uh, I'd rather save my keys for the shop. I mean, not the shop, my item room. If I get another key, you might convince me to do it, but for right now, I'm good. Um. So, uh, what am I trying to say? I, I forgot what the hell I was trying to say. I did, I literally did. I'm just, I'm a scum. <laughs> I'm a scumbag, I can't remember. Me and Northern Line, we have this connection of being just scumbags. Totally forgot what I was going to say. I hate these enemies. Alright, alright. I said if you were going to give me another key, I'd go ahead and go through with it. So, let's go ahead and go into this room. Some money. Oh, that's nice. I will take money. So, I guess that makes my shop possible. And I will be uh, happy to go to the shop. But now I only have one key. So I need to get another key to go to the shop. Is that chocolate milk? Yeah, there is chocolate milk, so... Now we have charge shots. Interesting. I think charge shots, they, uh... They upgraded it from the previous game. Because it was a... Kind of a shitty item. Like, pretty much... Uh, chocolate milk ruined runs. So I think they, they changed it and buffed it. I also am really terrible at th this. I'm, I'm, ter I'm terrible at the curb shots. I'm not taking the my velocity into consideration when launching this thing. There we go. Also, I hate this room. I think it's a stupid room. Nope, that was bad. There we go. Come back around. There we go. Got a tarot card, and the card is Joker. Um, I might get a deal with the devil on this floor, so if I don't, I will of course use it, but uh, I'm probably going to hang on to this card. So, not only can you use chocolate milk to shoot off really fast, but you can also do charge shots. So, uh, overall, I, I definitely say that they made chocolate milk better. So, that's, that's awesome to know. Uh, I would love to go to the shop, I just don't have a key, so, right now, I'm just spamming the shit out of the button, but I can also, you know, charge up for a nice charge shot as well, so. And there is a, oh my god, I should have pushed that bomb, but that was kind of risky, but there's a tinted rock up there, so. I need a bomb and a key, and I doubt I'll be getting one. I guess we're just gonna walk down this fuck corridor and go fight Monstro, of course. Second floor, you always fight Monstro, that's a given. So, Monstro's not too difficult. Totally don't mind going against Monstro. He's not really doing much right now. So you might be able to hear my controller, you might be hearing the button mashing. I'm trying to figure out what's better. Just shooting a big chocolate milk shot or button mashing. I'm not sure at this moment. Especially if I miss my big chocolate milk shot and I gotta charge it up again. Yeah. I do like, I do like, uh, Tears Up and Fast Shot Speed is probably one of my favorite things in this game, just because I can just barrage my enemy with bullets, then it starts feeling like, kind of like a galactic game or something, like, uh, like a shooter, like, pew, 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 pew. You know, so. Not too terrible, this boss fight was really easy, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. We got, see, like I said, I didn't want to use the Joker, because we'd probably get a deal with the devil. And deal with the devil, we got the ability to fly and the guppy's tail. Well, it, I'm gonna tell you right now, if we get... Oh, I need to start using... Oh my god, wow, I'm so terrible. I'm so terrible. I'm so terrible, I wasted my Joker card. Uh, I need to fix the controls. All right, I was thinking that if we got a... Um... I'm probably not gonna pursue Guppy. No, I'm not. I'm just terrible. I can't believe I fucking did that. You know what? Uh, I'm just gonna go down to the next floor. I, I need to fix the button. I feel like this button should be my... Uh, my... Uh, my use item. What's in here? Three right chests? I'll do it. Wow. And now I wish I would have gotten Guppy's tail, because now I got Guppy's collar. Oh, well, you know, I'll tell you the truth. That's one Guppy item. 
If we can come Guppy on this run, that'd be awesome. Guppy's awesome. It's really hard to press and hold shots. Also, my damage is, like, bad. Uh, well, these these enemies are kind of beefy, but I didn't know my, my damage was this bad. But uh, Guppy's color, that's nice. So, uh, not only does it count as the Guppy items, but uh, pretty much you have a 50-50 uh, chance of coming back alive with, I think, one health if you die. So, not in the same room, but, and you know, they'll kick you out the room and you get to try again with only one health. Not one of the better items, but just because it's a Guppy item, I guess I should have took Guppy's tail, then I would have been much closer to becoming Guppy. And watch, in this other chest, there'll be Guppy's paw, and then I'll fucking slap myself. My damage is so shitty, I'm having a terrible time trying to frickin' destroy these eyeless ooze guys. It's cool that I can fly, though. Flying just naturally increases your speed, so. There we go, took one out. Wow, I, my shot speed actually pushed the guy out of my shot. Almost done. Almost done. This is starting to hurt my fingers, like, damn. All this button mashing. Oh, and a pill. I thought we were done. Oh. Well, you know what? Actually, I need to pause the, pause the game anyway and actually show you guys the seed. I almost forgot. I, I think I didn't mention the seed, but I remember I accidentally paused the game in the in the video, so I just went to that spot and just typed down the seed in the in the description. So but I know I forgot to say the seed, so I'm gonna remember. I'm like Northern Lion. I just I want to hop right into the game and I completely forget. So so we got two of the same pills. So hopefully the pills are good. All right. So seed. The seed is XN96K1BG96. Oh, yeah. It's like 69 for dyslexic people. All right, let's take a spell. Bombs are key. Um, no. <laughs> I'd rather have a key than have uh, a bomb right now. <gasps> Maxis, I mean, not Cricket's Head. I almost said Maxis Head. That's Cricket's Head. That's a damage up. Awesome. More damage is, also, is always nice. Like I said, I'm kind of smacking myself right now that I didn't get to that Guppy's tail. I really didn't think I was it was worth pursuing Guppy because I wasn't sure if I was going to get any more Guppy on him. And then I get Guppy's collar. So I could have been one damage up, I mean, one Guppy item closer to becoming Guppy. And pretty much if you get Guppy, you know, as long as you play decently, there's a good chance you're going to win because Guppy is just so damn awesome. <sighs> you know, who doesn't want to be a kitty cat? So you can dance, 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 and you can dance, dance, dance. So I'm going to put out this fire. Oh. That slowdown actually helped me. Dodge that bullet. It kind of jumped out at me. Grab this black heart. Hopefully, get a deal with the devil. So far, not too terrible. So, um, as you guys know, um, or you may not know, uh, one finger death punch student mode ended. And I put up a video asking uh, whether you guys would like to see uh, One Finger Death Punch Master Mode or the original Binding Isaac. And uh, right now, just as a little spoiler, it seems like uh, One Finger Death Punch Master Mode is going to win, which is totally fun. You know, uh, I'll um, I'll play that game while playing this to give a little bit of uh, variation. Finally, I can go to the shop. I wish you. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get this. Just to not only... Uh, have that on my list of things to get but also also this is uh, the cave so I need to make sure that I use my book of revelation so I can go ahead and fight pestilence so I can get my next either a cube meat which I totally wouldn't mind because then I have two orbitals or uh, you know the next ball of bandage so I can have the next upgrade of bandage girl from a uh, from a uh, meat boy which is the same creator Ed McMillan no, I will never do... Ooh, health up. Nice. No, I will never do um, Meat Boy on the channel ever. Ever, ever, ever. I'm terrible at this kind of game. I'm terrible at this kind of game, so... I'm terrible at games in general. What am I talking about? Hello? <laughs> but this run's actually not going too bad. I'm hoping to get a deal with the devil and uh, pursue... Uh, some damage up and stuff like that. Book of Revelations is ready, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the Spirit Heart and uh, hopefully fight Pestilence today. 
should be Pestilence. Like I said, Book of Revelations, I, th I don't think it 100% guarantees that you'll fight um, a Horseman of the Apocalypse, but I think it increases your chances immensely, so I will go ahead and take that fight. So I said Cricket's, Cricket's Head, I mean, yeah, Cricket's Head, more damage, that's totally good. Go ahead, do some charge shots, shoot them in there. Wow, completely missed that. Wow. I'm not taking the velocity that I'm going into consideration when moving, you know, when I shoot my shots. They actually have, like, a curvature to them, so. Alright, I'm glad to see that my range is better than their range. Alright, you know what? Let's go ahead and fight, uh, Pestilence. Yep, I was right, Pestilence. Wow, I pressed the A button so I could skip the scene, and it made me shoot my shot as I was charging. Like I said, being, being above him is like the worst thing to be because my A button is kind of broken. So it's kind of hard for me to spam shots in other direct, like in downward direction that I would compare it to, to other directions, so. So you want to kill your uh, thing? It's nice to have flight against Pestilence, because you know, I'm not affected by his creep, because I can fly, so that's nice. We'll go ahead and take out the Silkworms. Oh, right. I can fly, but I can't shoot out of rocks. I have... Uh, what's this item called? I forgot what it's called. Wow, I'm so terrible. The flight item, I forgot what it's called. But I don't have Spirit of the Night, so... I can fly, but I can't shoot over rocks and stuff. That was a nice shot, Pestilence. Glad I could fly to get out of there. That was a really nice shot. Alright, deal with the devil. I've earned it. I've earned it. Wow, no deal with the devil. See, and I could have used my deal with the devil joker card here if I didn't accidentally use it last damn floor. Alright. Um, is there anything else on this floor? There's curse rooms. Now, I should really be going to curse rooms. I really should. Like, the, the chances of getting a deal with the devil. I mean, not a deal with the devil. Um, well, yeah, a deal with the devil. The chest teleports me. But uh, getting more guppy items is just, you know, totally worth it. Plus, I only take half damage because I can fly, so that's much better. Alright, so I'm gonna go over here, drop a bomb. Gonna blow up two of those. Is it worth my last bomb? Nah, it's not. It's not a guaranteed spirit heart. Alright, guppy item? No, just draw bombs. That will destroy the fire. Get one spirit heart. Alright, so I earned uh, half a spirit heart for coming in here. <clears throat> Especially since I can fly, there's no excuse for not, um, going to those uh, curse rooms, because I only take half a spirit hundred damage. So far, no arcades. You know, if we had an arcade, I'd kind of pursue it. Oh, never mind. That was a odd floor. You only get arcades on even floor. So I do have enough money to uh, make the arcade appear. So there's a pretty good chance that I'm going to get an arcade on this floor. And if I do get an arcade, that would be great. You know? Maybe earn some more keys. Keys is keys and bombs, but mostly keys. All right, you need to stop spitting. Miss... Uh, Miss, uh, bandaged girl. It's just a troll bomb. I was actually kind of hoping I would get a cube of meat. Wow. That was terrible. Oh, well, of course I can't even... I can't even, you know... Excuse that. Same room again. Really. Really lame. I can't even justify that. I don't even have... I have three keys. Oh, uh, this should be the shop right here. No, it's a... I don't know what the fuck this is. Uh, the Hermit. Oh, uh, that takes me to the shop. Two of diamonds doubles my money. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop that now. I'm trying to remember the controls. It's a death card. This nice kill. Another two of diamonds. Alright, well, we're set. We're set. We got the money. We got the fucking money. Let's go ahead and use our Hermit card to head to the shop. Uh, battery, of course. Charge up my, uh, my, uh, thing. Um, we'll go ahead and purchase this, and then use another Book of Revelations, which is this button. Like I said, I'm having a very, very difficult time remembering these damn controls. Alright, this room is chill. Alright, this is just a dead end. So, health-wise, we are looking really nice. Uh, like I said, I would gladly take some deals with the devil and exchange my health up. Hold on. Alright, I'm back, baby. I totally forgot to pause the video. Oh well. <laughs> so look at that, we're almost at cap health. That is that is just dandy. That's, this run is looking really good. That room is so easy. Like, 
totally just an easy room to do and handle. Ah, get the chocolate up in your face. It's all chocolatey. Delicious chocolate milk. I don't even want chocolate. <laughs> Still got petrified poop. I wish... It would give me something. That's cool. Really looking forward looking to a deal with the devil on this floor. So that's what I'm looking for. Is that a uh, juicy sack? So juicy. So, so juicy. Juicy sack. Deal with the devil. I want some damage. I want some damn damage. I, I will give, gladly give you health. I'm Health-wise, I'm sitting pretty well. I want damage. I'll open this. Nope, that was terrible. <laughs> That's what I want right now. I want some damage. There is a tinted rock here. I can see it. X marks the spot for tinted rocks. I don't need that right now, but... <laughs> I might. Especially if I go to a, a curse room. Go ahead and stop shooting. So I got the juicy sack. I think I got this on a previous run. I think I got it on the run where I was super slow. And then I got the juicy sack which made my enemy slow. So everybody was just going slow on that run. Come on. Also, I think juicy sack spawns some spiders. So that's, that's fine. Uh, so... Gonna be fighting the boss, hopefully getting some, uh... So I deal with the devil is definitely what I want right now. Double Trouble Gemini. Alright, well, I can fly, so... <laughs> so, besides your little, uh, baby Gemini attachment... The funny thing is, I'm actually a Gemini. It, you know... I'm not a Gemini, like, I'm not a conjoined twin or anything, but my, uh, my sign is Gemini. I'm born in June, so... Double Gemini. Alright. This bus isn't too difficult. Yes. So, uh, pretty much, uh... Uh, the ball of bandage girl, she has the ability to have charm tears. So, pretty much, she's, uh... Charming the little Geminis to attack each other. Oh, I accidentally paused the game. The, the, uh, I'm using the Xbox controller, so the X button's kind of close to my start button. I keep accidentally pressing that. What is this? Uh, uh, evil plus range plus shot speed up. Alright, and, uh, oh, we're at max health. Never mind. The, the evil gave me. Did I just accidentally walk out and skip my deal with the devil? I could have heard, I could have swore I heard the deal with the devil, but I guess I'm... Duh. I am terrible at this game. Have I ever told you guys that I'm terrible at this game? Like, the worst. I skipped my deal with the devil on accident, because I thought that was the door. I didn't know it was going to straight up close if I stepped out for a second. That's stupid. Like, if I earn the deal with the devil, it should stay open. Oh, uh, and since I got a battery, I can get my, uh, I can get overcharge on my, uh, and I uh, use item, so I don't clearly I don't need it right now. I'm cap health. So that's one thing that they added in Rebirth is uh, cap health because they're getting kind of sick and tired of you just having health way off the screen and just being able to just crush everything. So now, of course, gotta play better. But cap health is totally chill. Oh, I don't mind that. I can just fly over here. This totally wouldn't be worth it if I couldn't fly because that would cost me like two bombs. So. Oh, we're pretty much done with this floor. I'm kind of hoping that if I walk back into that, uh... Wouldn't there, like, a death card up here or something? I thought, I'm not going for, like, the fastest time or anything, but I could swear there's, like, a death card up here. Yes, there was. I will take that. Alright. So, we are sitting fine right now, like I said. I wish they would open up that deal with the devil for me. I heard it. I heard it, but... Alright, so... Going to the next floor. So, despite being at cap health, I will still use my, uh... My Book of Revelations if I get hurt. Or, or like, right before we walk in. Just because I would like to fight war and get another, uh... Cube of meat or something along those lines. The only thing I'm missing is, A, deals with the devil. Because those are totally my fault. Like, last... Four, I fucked that up, and the other four, I messed up the joke card. Like, for some odd reason, 
I'm still need to get adjusted to this game and the controls, so. Okay, I'm just terrible at this game. Also, still surprised that I am not getting any, uh... Where are we? We're the depths, right? Yeah, we're the depths. For some reason, I was like, are we in Necropolis? Like, why do we keep on fighting Zombros? Like, I don't want to fight Zombros. Like, they're difficult to fight. No one wants to fight Zombros. There we go. Come here, Zombro. There we go. Getting a lot of overcharge on our, on our uh, Book of Revelations, which is totally cool. But like I said, I'm probably, despite not needing it, because I'm at cap health, and I haven't, so far I haven't taken any damage, so that's nice. I might take some damage in this room, though. This room is... No? No? Alright. I said, uh, I still want to fight war, which last room, war literally effed up my life, because I, because of that fucking uh, Ludovico technique, so I'm hoping that, you know, uh, this fight will be much easier with the war than the second last time. So, these brains. Your creep doesn't phase me. Oh, you blew up and made me fight one of these skull buddies. Two of hearts, so that's not that useful right now. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and use it now. Just so I could, you know kind of guarantee my fight against war. Because war is kind of the hardest one to find. Faith up. Or petrify poop. You know what? I'll, I'll go with the faith up. And I'll go with the death card. I don't need any health right now. Zombros again? Oh. Turned around. Ah, damn, you dick. Stop turning around. Oop, I accidentally pressed the death card. You know what? I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Fuck, fuck the Zombros. So, these guys have a chance of uh, turning into skeleton dudes when you defeat them. They remove their mask and they're like, hey, I'm actually a skeleton dude. There's the item room. Oh, is that a brimstone one? Yes, it is. I was, it's like, I was wondering if that was a brimstone one. Uh, are you a wizard? Alright, well, that pill sucks. Is that Gemini? Yeah, that is Gemini. So I fight Gemini, and then I get Gemini. So this is what are you a wizard does. It pretty much makes you shoot stupidly. You're like, derp, I can't shoot right. And it lasts for a cool minute, so. You can't really tell, because for some odd reason it's not affecting my eyes. So, I could, I probably should wait it out, just because my main damage is me, so. I don't even want to try doing a room like this. I said it takes a cool minute. Does that mean I shoot two tears? Nope, I only just I shoot one and one, either one or the other direction. Come on, hurry up and wear it off. I hate are you a wizard? Stupid. There we go. Oh, free bombs. Don't mind if I do. You now you're supposed to like, kind of like, you know. Uh, Bomberman your way through this room by using the bombs that they give you. They you won't get stuck in the room, but yeah, I suggested it and all, but Gemini is putting in these works against these floating Zombros. Thank you, Gemini. Alright, there is the boss. So, of course, we will be fighting... Oh, we should be fighting war. So, war? No, chubs. Double trouble chubs. Huh, I guess it was set in stone that I wouldn't be fighting him just because of the double uh, boss room, but I wasn't really paying attention, so. Double war. I, you know what, I'd rather fight double chub than double war any day, but uh, that kind of sucks because that means that we won't get our, uh, our uh, third level whatever because you only fight war on this four. War is kind of the hardest one. It, oh, death too, because then you fight against mom's heart, so. I'm just shooting the shit out of them skulls. So, Chubb is pretty easy when he, you know, walks on my creep. Also, I can fly, so. Another spirit hire. I don't need that. Deal with the devil, please. Yes, deal with the devil. Range upgrade. I don't care about that. But I'll take it. Deal with the devil is... Pentagram, definitely. Take my health. Shut up and take my health. Brother Bobby, is that even worth it? I can get a deal with the devil on the next floor. No, I'm good. Brother Bobby's not worth it. Pentagram, definitely. 
Alright, so uh, we can still go to the shop. Go into the shop, go into the shop, go into the shop, shop, shop. Go into the shop. Still gotta get HP and a damage upgrade. Like I said, if they would have offered me a damage upgrade, I was gonna be like, shut up and take my health. So that's exactly how it went down. Oh, they got these little Isaac head thingies. These used to be really rare enemies in uh, the last game. Like, if you saw one of these, you're just like, oh shit, look at it. It's a, it's a it's an endangered species, but now... Actually, you know what, that range upgrade's not too terrible. I will take that, because now I can just, like, kind of shoot from across the room. No, I don't need that. Also, I can fly. So. This run is not too terrible. Butterbean. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'm glad I got that. Too bad that item completely sucks. That item sucks. It's so bad. Like, it might be one of the worst items in the game. So I'm glad I unlocked it. Uh, it'll give me more cards, but is it worth it? Spirit Heart's not even worth it. You know what? No, it's not. It's not worth it. What's in here? Yes, that's worth it. No, 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 no. God damn it. They back me up into a corner. You know what? That's fine. I can easily acquire more spirit hearts, so. That's what I'm at. I am so glad I got Gemini, because Gemini is just like a hella helpful. Got some pills. Hella helpful and uh in these Zombros. Cause he just sits on top of them. Damn it. Keep pausing the damn game. Actually, you know what? Let me see my stats. Damage is good, shot speed is good. Health up. Oh my god, yes, please. And then some mysterious pill. Alright, this room is done. Uh, let's go ahead and take it. Rain jump. Alright, I don't mind that. I said I'm still looking for some guppy. I only got one guppy item, right? I wish... Now, I wish I would have took guppy's tail. I wish I would have took guppy's tail. Alright, we're pretty much done with this floor. Like I said, I'm not really worried about the health. So, next floor, we fight uh, mom. Damage is good. Health is good. Things are good. This run is fine. It's long, like usual, like I said, this game. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go ahead and use a Book of Revelations, and then I'm gonna overcharge it again. Just so I can get Spirit Heart back. And I believe there's a Spirit Heart down here? Yep, there was, so there you go. Back at my cell. Do I want Brother Bobby, is the question. No, I still don't want Brother Bobby. They even offered, opened it up for me again, and I'm just like, nah. I'm not gonna take up the Hail Hub pill right now. Not right now, because I already have my spirit hearts. Because all it would do is just boot out one of my spirit hearts. So what's the point? Oh, there is a, bo a boss gauntlet trap room, whatever it's called right there. So we're on depths two. Don't this pill is? No, I don't. Overcharge. Well, again, well, alright. That's fine. So, we did our energy. Oh, that was totally bad. I didn't see that guy. I saw him, but it was too late to get out of the way. I saw him in the corner of my eye, and I'm just like, I can't get out of the way of that. I'm gonna get hit. <sighs> really? Oh, well, you know what? Nah, nah. Very conservative player. What's this? Oh, still the tower. Another key. I will go ahead and take that. There's the arcade. I'll probably go to the arcade, see if I can get a key. You got a demon judgment in here? Shut up and take my health. And I'm gonna play regular judgment as well. So fucking laggy. I'll take that key. That'll allow me to go into the item room and the shop. So, uh, key beggar, uh, you can eat your heart out because you're not getting none of my keys. That's the only thing that I'm having a hard time getting in this run. Some damn keys. I might give Demon Judgment some Spirit Hearts just because I have so fucking many. What's this? Two of Diamonds. Alright, sure. Why not freaking double my money to cap? So, definitely gonna be donating in the donation machine. Because I got cap money. Well, had cap money. Close to cap money. More than enough to make the donation machine ex jam. It's not probably not gonna explode, but definitely jam. Two of Clubs. Sure, double my bombs. Hey, Judgment, if you wanna, like, pay out... 
No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to save him, but I couldn't. The slowdown in, in the game right now is kind of real, so I couldn't even react fast enough. Like, everything happened in slow motion. Was that a uh, virus, really? Oh, goodness. I have enough keys now. Pulse worm, really? No. Oh my god, not the Zombros. I'm getting sick and tired of fighting these fuckers. Fought them so damn much. <gasps> uh, so, got enough keys to make the shop and, uh, the shop and the item room worthwhile. I'm starting to think maybe, are these videos too long? I might ask that question, because these videos are getting, like, super long. You know what? I'm getting, like, an ass ton of batteries. Like, hello? Like, an ass ton. So, you know what? Oh, Demon Judgment already paid out. Never mind, I was like, oh, I'm gonna fucking give it to Demon Judgment, but he already paid out, so. So, it's so much. Uh, it's a spider bite? Slow effect? Well, I already got the slow effect from running, but now they get the slow effect from me beginning hit. I have a chance of getting the slow effect from my tears hitting, so. I'm just slowing it down. I'm just taking it slow. Is that the shop? I think that's the shop. Go ahead and go into the shop. Greed! Well, that sucks. This is the last shop. I was hoping to go ahead and donate, so hopefully in the future we'll find a donating machine so I can start donating. I kind of kind of guessed that I should be fighting Greed on the, the shop. <sighs> I don't need this money. Hello? I'm still grabbing it. I'm like, no, I have cap money now. She should be over here. Mom should be over here. Definitely want to make sure that I'm moving. I don't want to get grabbed by these damn hands. I don't know how many hands there are. Two? Two? Alright. Yep. It's in the court. It was kind of like a corridor leading down. Oh, Gemini. Gemini, stop. Gemini, stop. Oh my god, Gemini, stop. <laughs> Gemini's all fucking up the enemies, which is nice, but I'm trying to time when to dodge. Alright. Um, is there anything else I need in this floor? I got item room, I got sh shop. Uh, you know what? I need, I'm gonna go back to that boss trap room. What's my time? Hell no, I'm not gonna make the frickin- I, no, I did not make the, uh, the boss gauntlet. You gotta get there and under, uh, do I know what this pill is? Hello? Health up. And I didn't take this, why? I was already on the tower card. I almost fucked that up. I, I almost just passed up a fucking health up pill. What's wrong with me? Not that I really need it. Boss trap room. Two golden chests. I got enough keys. I'll do it. Hoping for an item, but sure. Oh, Loki, huh? Loki's not too terrible. Loki and who? Whom? Trying to figure out who else is with Loki. Monstro 2. Alright. Sure. Oh wow, I moved out the way of that. The slowdown is real. I can't dodge on a dime like I want to. There's a pretty good chance that, uh... First of all, there's a couple things that I want to do with this series. So, first thing I'm wondering is if these episodes are too long. No. I mean, you only get one every couple of three days, so, but I'm just wondering if the videos are too long, if you guys really want to sit through it. I can cut it down to, like, maybe, like, 20 minutes or so per episode and, like, split the episodes in half. I can do that. No. I'm also planning on maybe, uh, I forgot I had, uh, I totally forgot I had, uh, chocolate milk. Totally forgot I had chocolate milk. I've been so busy just spamming the button and shooting, I totally forgot that I had chocolate milk to begin with. Alright, besides that broom show shot, that went fine. Are you a wizard? Hell no. I forgot what the fuck I'm looking for. I'm looking for a curse room. That's what I'm looking for, a curse room. Hopefully beat mom, get a deal with the devil before heading down to mom's heart. 
And I believe now we can actually go down to Satan. Uh, this run's pretty powerful. I wouldn't hold it against us, especially if we get a nice deal with the devil. Hold it against us to go ahead and uh, go against Satan. Take down Satan. Yep, oh, there's that. There's the room that I was looking for. I'm just gonna allow Gemini just to fuck them up. Come on, Gemini. I'm coming. I said, I'm not a big fan of this. Oh my god, so many damn batteries. Hello? Fuck them up, Gemini. Well, skeleton key, I guess. Nothing. What was this room good for? Absolutely nothing. Anything in this last room? Chubs. I'm just fucking Chubs up. Oop. Keep on accidentally pausing because the X button is right near the start button on this particular controller. I'm just on a regular Xbox controller, no, but I don't believe this is a regular Xbox controller. I forgot what kind of controller this is. Just a, just a GameStop one. Use that, grab this. It says so many damn batteries. Just, my health is so fucking good. Like, health, good, bombs, good, you know, keys, fine, you know. Like I said, just, just a little bit more damage. Like, if I beat mom and then they offer me brimstone, then G fucking G. G fucking G. Like, I swear. Although I do have chocolate milk, I'm not sure how that would work. I think they fixed it from the first game, because I know brimstone plus chocolate milk was just a terrible, terrible thing. In the original game, so. Once again, X button. Oh my god, that slowdown was so real that I could see that foot coming from a mile of fucking way. A mile of fucking way. Look at that, look at that, look at that slowdown, hello? <laughs> a mile of fucking way. Mile fucking way, swear. Whew, this is like this is probably like the easiest mom fight that we have yet. Please deal with the devil. Yes! I'll take my health up. Deal with the devil, please be good. <sighs> Rotten baby, yes. <laughs> Rotten baby, uh is not the best item in the world. That faith up is just giving me so many spirit arts, like so good. Uh, it's not the best item, but it shoots flies, so I scale my damage times two, and I have so much health that I totally don't mind giving. Yeah. So, uh, Utero. Utero is the hard one, isn't it? Yeah, Utero is the hard one. Rather prefer the womb. Oh nope nope. This is a long run. I said I might cut it. I might actually cut it. Scale it down to like 20, 20 minute, 20, 25 minute videos. Because right now, I kind of feel like sitting here for half an hour, especially with my gameplay. You know, I'm no, I'm no northern lion. Oh my god, look at this room. This room is scary. Get your swinging ass heads away from me. So of course now since we're in the room, we take uh, double damage, and so now we take a full heart of damage. I'm not too worried though. We have a full heart from frickin' Book of Revelations. Who would've thought that Book of Revelations wasn't gonna be, like, this good? Like, some people hate Book of Revelations because they ha it makes you fight the horsemen, but this run has just been totally chill. I think the only flaw with this run was me. No. I'm the one that fucked up this run. I fucked up deals with the devils. I had them in my grasp and I fucked them up, you know. So I probably could have became guppy. I could have been doing I could have been a lot better off right now than I currently am, so that's my fault. Alright, fuck this room. Fuck these enemies. They always like to appear under your ass and fuck you. So I had my range is good, so I can keep my distance away from enemies, you know. Range is one of those, you know underestimated kind of stats, you know. 
kind of like speed where, you know, it's nice to have, but it ain't gonna probably win you a run, so. Right now, everything's pretty chill. So, just trying to get to the boss as quickly as possible, and then literally, if I take no damage and we make it right to the boss room, taking no damage at all, then I most definitely will just pop this. Never mind, I took damage because he popped up under my ass, just like I said those enemies do. Gotta hate those fucking enemies. So I wanted to go ahead and use the Book of Revelation so I can have my chance of fighting death. And get my, hopefully, my third uh, bandage girl? Or maybe just a cube of meat. I would take either or at this point. Either or. Cube of meat, bandage girl. I don't care. I would lose an orbital, but at least I gain a nice running familiar that can hurt enemies and stuff. Alright, I definitely feel like the boss room has to be over here. Like, there's no way they, they're gonna do this big old long fuck corridor for the boss not to be down here. It'll probably be right here. Wow, still no. Wow, they spawned me right on top of these things. I'm glad Gemini was there to fucking help me. I still don't know what these things do. Like, I think they're just here just to be here. You touch them, you get hurt, of course, but I just don't know what they do. They don't do anything. And a ton of red hearts. Yep, right here. Ouch. I'm not moving fast enough to really dodge these attacks efficiently, so death. The Fallen. Two Fallen. Double Trouble Fallen. Once again, I did not look at the sides of the room. If I looked at the sides of the room, I would probably kind of guess that it wasn't going to be death unless it's double death. So I don't want to take too much damage on the shroom, so of course, Fallen. You get a deal with the Devil item, and uh... You also get a... Uh... Uh, hopefully we'll get a deal with the devil, so. It's pretty chill. No. Alright, one heart of damage on the fallen is totally chill. I told him, double fallen is totally chill, I don't mind that. We're still really fine health-wise, so. And we're gonna get a deal with the devil item. Guppy's paw, oh my god, fuck my ass. I could've became Guppy. I could've been Guppy right fucking now if I would've just took Guppy's tail. I'm... Regret everything! <laughs> I don't not getting the polo right in this run either. Is there anything else in here? Nah. Wow, and I didn't get a deal with the devil. I got a deal with the devil item with the guppy's paw. So that sucks. I only need one more guppy item. Let me in this room. What's in here? Just a dime. A fucking dime when I got cap money. Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> this run could be a lot fucking better if I just would have took Guppy's tail. <laughs> so. Oh, I fucked that up. So. Right, I'm gonna go this way then. Mega Maw. Get the energy crystals. I can't do it like fucking Northern Lion. <laughs> There's one Mega Maw. Come on, just kill him. That really sucks. That really sucks. This run could be so much better than it is right now. Alright, I'll go ahead and use one. So, of course, we're fighting um, Itlib slash mom, Mom's Heart. Yep. Can you give me the compass? I want the compass. 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 I got cap money, man. Like, dude, I'll fucking... I'll throw the stacks at you. You don't even understand, man. Sure. HP upgrade. Fine. I need more health. Ow. Oh my god, I'm too slow to dodge these damn lasers. Yes. Please, please, guppy fucking item, please. I will do anything for a guppy item. I will S your D, man. No. <laughs> guppy item. Deal with the devil takes me down to Shoal. No, I, I need to be freaking. It lives with. With, uh. 
Lazarus. I'm gonna try. I'm probably gonna beat Mom's heart and go down to the deal with the devil. I mean, and go down. But I wish. I wish I got that last floor. You know, got to deal with the devil last floor. This floor, it's not even that helpful. Like, hello. Well, I'm glad I went this direction, not the other direction. So let's go ahead and uh, wipe Mom's heart. Fuck these laser beams. Fuck them so hard because I'm so slow that I'm having a hard time dodging them. I was either going to get hit by the laser beam or that, so it didn't really matter. Alright, let's go ahead and try to defeat Bum's heart. Wow, really? I thought I squeezed through that, but I guess not. Am I not fast enough to dodge this attack? I'm not. I'm so slow. I literally have to slow down Mom's heart just to my speed. What the fuck hit me? Oh, she spawned enemies in the back of, her, of the heart. All right. Brimstone shots. Soon. Yes. Yep. Yep. There we go. Took down Mom's heart. Rubber cement unlocked. All right. Cool. That item is interesting. No, I'm not gonna just end this run. I wanna, I wanna go down the shoal. <sighs> Maybe I can fight the devil. Over cement. Oh my god, this music. They are not fucking around. They're like, welcome to hell, motherfucker. Wow, I ran right into that. I didn't even see him. It's so black, it's so dark in here. I said, we already beat Mom's heart, so that doesn't even matter, so we got that achievement unlocked. I got a ton of bombs. I'm gonna throw down some bombs and try to give me some more spirit hearts. Yep, there's one. Now, I wish I had all that sack stacks of health. Wish I could've took some batteries with me. Might as well pop this pill. Why'd I go this way? There was no goddamn reason to go this way. It's better to be at a half-heart interval, anyway. I have no idea what direction Satan's gonna be at. Not this direction, clearly. Oh, we eliminated that one. Mamasha, shoot at me. I'm just gonna jump, come down, jump again, spawn some enemies, yep. I'm so mad at myself in this run. So mad at myself. I could have became Guppy. But I was like, oh no, Guppy's tail, it's totally not worth it. Yes, it was. <laughs> Are you mad, sir? Are you mad? Almost every opportunity to become Guppy, you should take it. Guppy is awesome. I, I would be... I, well, I'm already doing pretty well, but I would just be destroying. You know what? I think it might be up. I think it might be up. I have to definitely grab that heart. Going against some breeds, huh? Along with that fucking mini book. I mean, along with my fucking clone here. If Gemini can destroy that clone, I would be so happy right now. Because that clone is literally just getting in my way of this Gemini fight. And I already don't like fighting Gemini, so. Steam Cell! Ooh, Steam Cell! When I have almost cap money, Steam Cell and no other shops to purchase things, please give me a Guppy item. Some pills. What is it? 40 out of our energy. Uh, I'll save that. And are you a wizard? I'll save that after this next room. I'll go ahead. Uh, beat this next room. Then pop 48 hour energy. Two uh, dark ones. This should be fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. Turn that gamma up. Turn that gamma up. It's cheating, but I don't care. Turn that gamma up. I can't fucking see. Turn that gamma up, please. 
Okay, that's super cheating. Super cheating. Oh, never mind. Ah, uh, it helps. I thought I thought that was with the gamma on in this dark mode. I'm like, wow, like that's really bright, but no. That was just regular, so. Damn it, I keep accidentally hitting the frickin' start button when I'm trying to hit the X button. There's one. That he only does his brimstone attack if you're below him, so. Wow, alright. He fucking carved right into me. I'm not liking my chances of beating Satan here. Alright, so. Book of Revelations. Then we'll go ahead and pop the 48 energy. Book of Revelations. Book of Revelations. Grab this. Book of Revelations. <laughs> Book of Revelations too strong. I'm really hoping that the devil, Satan, is up here. I'm trying to kill these guys as quickly as possible before they break off their chains. Because, of course, when they break off their chains, they come at me super fast. Like... Yep, I was right. Satan's up here. We might have a chance. We may have a chance. Satan's probably one of the harder bosses in the game just because he has multiple phases. So first... Oh, I fucked that up. It's too early. Too early. First, you fight the Fallen. And fighting the Fallen is fun. Wow, I completely fucked that bomb shit up. Wow, and that actually hit me? Take out the Fallen. And then that statue sitting right there in the middle turns into the devil himself. Satan. Hi, Satan. How you doing? And Satan is a pain in the dick. Super pain in the dick. Okay, I wanted to go back around this direction, so I'm glad I got out of the way of that. Fighting Satan! And now, Satan's not done! He's just getting started, motherfuckers! Now we have to fight his feet. He goes into a giant, and he tries to step on us like Mom. I ran right into that. I saw it in, like, slow motion. I was just like, no. Running around trying to fight Satan's feet. This might actually be a victory. It's looking like it. Yep. We won. Broken Ankh unlocked. Alright. has appeared in the basement. I unlocked Judas! Yay, Judas! So, that was a pretty good run. An hour! Is it an hour? Hello? <laughs> I might actually cut this. That's a long video. Long video. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. Like I said, uh, we're probably going to go with the whole one finger death punch. Uh, we're probably going to go with the uh, master uh, the master mode. And, uh, you know, kind of have a difference play. So we have Isaac and we have uh, somewhat one finger death punch and then eventually when we get farther in this game we can go ahead and bring back the original Isaac so yeah all right so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thanks for all the support and I will see you guys next time with some more finding Isaac rebirth thanks for watching